I think we have to be the conscience of the majority cultures of the world. We have to be their conscience because that, that's all it is. If, if they were to look at their cultures and they would realize that you know, working communally is much more beneficial than being a sort of land grabbing individual. It may give you sort of wealth for your own immediate family, but in the long term, um, that wealth can be lost. I'm, I'm sounding naive to you, aren't I? But I mean, that's what, that's what I think, because I think that indigenous peoples who might have lost that whole way of thinking have to get it back themselves, and then having got it back, need to influence majority cultures in their own countries. And I think globally we have to do that. Yes, I think if we don't, then we, you know, we, we, um, we are no less, I mean, we're just as guilty as, as the majority cultures. You have to sort of um, go back to, you know, it's like sort of going back to a second childhood, as it were, starting all over again and learning again how to be partial to, empathetic to, or sympathetic to traditional cultural ideals, like working for the good of the community. Because, you know, there are lots of Maori sayings, you know, I mean, the English sort of say, no man is an island. And despite the fact that it's a well-known saying, I don't think that's practiced. Or people accept the philosophy. It's like our saying in Maori, um, e kore te ure tu, ki te kore ngaraho. Now, that's a very sex, sexy um, metaphor, but it's sort of saying quite blatantly that without, without testicles, a man can't sustain an erection i.e. a chief cannot be a chief without the people. That's the metaphor. But I mean, biologically, um, it's true. And despite the fact that we all accept those philosophies, for some reason we don't seem to want to adopt them or to, or to follow the, you know, their thinking. I think it's probably in its very simplicity, it probably sort of is, is complicated <laughs> to a lot of people. As the earth becomes more and more crowded and we're wanting more and more space and the resources become fewer, human nature being what it is, it will want to be, you know, want to be sustained in some way or other. Yeah, I, think, I think by your definition in this particular case, I would, I would agree with you quite wholeheartedly. I think oneness is really the answer in that sense. Oneness in consideration of others, oneness in the helping of others, oneness in the accepting of others without being assimilated.